Yeah, right guys, welcome back. Um, so today I'm going to be um, tearing the car apart because <laughs> I've got a hole in the piston and we need to get loads of crap out of the way so we can fix it. Does that make sense? Ah, let's get cracking. One battery disconnected with a cover on it. So now I need to make sure I don't shut the boot anytime soon because I won't be able to open it without taking the seats off and in fact I'm probably gonna to have to take the rear seats out so I can climb through and reconnect the battery um, it's not the end of the world to have to do that is it I had forgotten what a monumental pain in the arse it was getting those out um, these are quite difficult <laughs> um, I recommend only doing that if you have to but now I can crawl through so the boot's shut and now I can crawl through and connect up the power when I need to so move on to the bonnet Okay, now the battery is disconnected and I've taken the battery charger off this time, learned my lesson last time. Um, so I'm going to start taking all of this apart, putting them in boxes, um, seeing how much I can uncover. I'm going to have a look under the car and see what I can do because I'm going to see if I can improvise um, some sort of stand or something. But half of this stuff needs to come off in order to get the heads off. I've got to take all this off, the table has got to come off, the intake has got to come off, all this side has got to come off, the um, intercooler has got to come off, all the charge coolers. So I'll probably be taking like this front clip off, taking the radiator shielding out of the way because I'm going to need to be able to get down to the bottom of there to turn the engines, get a top dead centre for timing, etc. But in the first place, all of this stuff, just all of this has to come out, which is going to be fun. But let's crack on anyway. Oh man, I tell you what, it's going to take a lot longer than I thought to take stuff off. It's right pain on the backside. But we'll keep going. So we've got the intercoolers off. Not the intercoolers, the charge cooler off, or one of them off. Got the DME off. Get those bloody clips off the DME, was a nightmare. Um, airbox out of the way. Fuel lines disconnected on that side, so we'll just keep plodding through. But I've got to stop for the moment because I'm hungry and it's um, dinner time. So I'll be back tomorrow at some point. Right.
some disassembly required um, okay so you can see where we've got to but unfortunately I'm gonna have to take all of this side off as well so I'm gonna take the downpipe turbo the inlet the charge cooler alternator's got to come off I believe I'll double check that um, probably does I've got to get these pipes out of the way as well um, and I've got to get the um, the fuel rail out before I can start thinking about getting to the heads and then I can take the um, all these heat shields off so the fuel rail is held on by three um, little bolts but as you can see the space is incredibly tight and there's no way you're going to get anything meaningful down there so I bought this tiny little set and it's like a quarter inch drive bit that you can put the torque bits into which fits nicely in the gap and all you've got to do is crack them off and then you can um, remove them with your fingers which is handy so let's get this out so i'm going to call it there for the day um there's still a lot to do obviously with the disassembly before i can even think about trying to get the heads off so um, i'm going to do um, the other half of the engine off camera and um we'll come back when we can see the rabbit i guess um Thank you very much for watching um if you've enjoyed what you've seen and if you're new here and you haven't already done so please do consider hitting that like and subscribe that would help me out immensely um next up we're going to have all of the intake taken off and um, we're going to start looking at getting those heads off um it's already a bit of a tight squeeze so um i know this is going to be quite challenging um i think i can get the heads off with in situ um but getting the piston is going to be another thing altogether because i'm going to have to still drop the subframe to get access to the bottom end of the engine anyway but that's for another day so thank you very much for watching and um see you next time cheers guys stay safe